Hello guys, welcome to a new video on the unofficial Syncor Marketing YouTube channel. In this video we're going to set up a simple AB or content test. And to do that we are going to the content editor and we are going to open one of my pages. Now I have created a default website, an example site with Syncor Experience Accelerator 1.8 and I'm going to open the homepage in the experience editor. Now, the first thing that you want to do is to select a component that you want to test. And we are not going to test the look and feel, uh, but we're only going to test the content. So I have three components here, and I want to test this component. So I'm going to select it, and in here I have a button test the component button and when I click it a new window will appear and in here I can add some variations so let's click the new variation button and let's give this the name of variant B and now I can select which content I want to use in this test so when I click this button I can select the data source item that is needed for this test at uh, this component. So the promo one is the default one because I use the promo component of SXA and I'm going to select promo two. So now I have the original one here and I have the one that I'm going to include in the test here. So let's click OK. And now that I have configured this setup, you will see an icon here <coughs> and it disappears. Uh, but when I save the page, it will reload everything and you will see it again. You will also see a warning because I have added, as uh, Sidecar calls it, another experience for this component on this page. So in order to get this up and running, I have to create a test. So when everything is reloaded, you will see this notification bar and you will see that there is an item that has a test in draft. New components has added to the page. Do you want to create a test? Now we're not going to do that yet. I'm going to select the component one more time. And as you can see at this icon, you will see a B and you will have the A original one. And now we have another variant, the B variant and I can select it and it will update this component and here you will see the new content for this component. So let's create a test otherwise um, you, uh, your users will not be enrolled in this test so I'm clicking on this link and now a new window appears and here we will get a preview and we can configure some settings of this test. Now it's giving me a warning um, and it's telling me that based on the historical data it will take more than 485 days to finish the test. Now this is my local environment so I don't have much visitors. As you can see there are 9 visitors per day on average. Um, so that's uh, logic that it will take too much days to get a significant uh, result. But it's cool that Sitecore predicts this kind of um, information um, and the success of the test. So in here you will get a preview of which component um, is tested and how it looks. I'm not going to uh, click on the um, on the thumbnails and on the large image. But below you can set the expected effect of the change. It's just for yourself so you can learn. Um, you have the option to choose a negative change in engagement value no significant change at all or an increase with a positive change in engagement value. So as you can see the tests are um, linked to engagement value um, and that's logic because engagement value is the key thing in Sidecore and it's all about engagement value instead of amounts of visitors. Now the variables tab uh, you can uh, this is just uh, some variables that are selected. We have two variations of the promo component in this test, so if we have other components they will be listed here as well, but we're just testing one. Um, it's showing me some 
information that based on the historical data and nine visitors a day um, and the confidence level of 95 percent it will take 485 days and the maximum duration of the test is 90 days now you can select here how much visitors are exposed to the test so I'm setting this to 50 because I want the half of visitors to be exposed to the test and the other half not um, and in here I can set the confidence level now the lower the confidence level the longer the test will take um, the higher the con sorry the uh, shorter the test will take the higher the confidence level the longer the test will take but we're setting this to 95 just the default one on the last tab the objecti objective you can, set a you can set a test objective um, it's set to trailing value slash visit uh, by default but you can also select some goal we're not going to do that yet and I'm automatically select the winner on the test objective I can also select a winner manually um, but we're leaving these this as default and the minimum duration is seven days the maximum is 90 now you can override it but based on the calculations of Sitecore it's automatically set so I would advise not to change it now we're going to click the start test button and Sitecore will now create the test now the test is created but we have to publish the page otherwise it is not going to be live and uh, exposed to the visitors so we're going to publish this page click OK and when everything works out fine close the page and the test are now live now one thing to check is when I reload this page watch the optimization tab you will see a red circle um, on the tab which indicates that the page has an active test and that means that you have set up everything correct so here it is optimization you will see the red circle and you will see here now that there's an active test and it's expected to end in 90 days now here I have some old historical tests and my active test here now I'm going to open an in private browser uh, we're going to take a look and see if the test works so I am an anonymous visitor and as you can see already you will see here the new content so this was the default one in terms of content we're testing this component but it's automatically showing to this visitor the new variant or the new content so I'm going to end this session and I'm going to test it one more time just to show you that it's constantly changing so a new private window and here you will have um, the normal version, the original one for this visitor so I'm going to kill the session and I'm going to do it one more time just to check um, that local now as you can see now as you can see for this visitor it's also the original one uh, so let's click on this button one more time uh, just to have some kind of interaction within this session um, okay so we have set up the test we have seen that some visitors are exposed to the test and some are not I'm going to refresh this page and let's see if we have some analytics for this test so what I can do is go to test result and it will create a report now obviously there is not much to see yet um, I don't have any goals converted um, I don't have much pages just one click but as you can see out of the three visitors that we had um, one was exposed and it's listed here and you can also go to conversion rate and choose for example a goal um, now there is no data yet but say that you have um, a page that is reached on the call to action button and a goal is triggered there 
you will get information here about the conversion rate of specific goals that you select and that were exposed during the test and a list uh, of the variables in the test now if you want to cancel the test you can do that by clicking on this button um, the test has run not long enough um, to pick a winner but if the test um, has more results you will get an option here that you can manually pick a winner if you want to um, and then that uh, variant is automatically put online now when I'm going back to a private window one more time I'm going to uh, look at the page then you will see that on the left component um, you will see the exactly same content and that is that because I have created in exactly the same way a test for this component and I have manually picked the winner here and that was based on the amount of clicks and goals that were triggered and I have co uh, configured to Sitecore that that winner should be used from now on so it's automatically using this data source item for this component instead of the default one like you see here so that's it this is how you can set up a very basic test to test your content um, you should definitely use it because it's very powerful and gives you gives you lots and lots of insights if you have any questions please ask them on f uh, LinkedIn or Twitter um, I will include my usernames in the description below and thanks for watching